Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today uh, we've got a video about the question, how many 16-inch guns did the U.S. Navy make? Or how many were made in the United States? Um, and the short answer to this question is, I don't know. Cut the credits. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support. Um, I don't know the exact answer, but uh, specifically because two makes of the guns, I don't have that number for. Uh, however, we can go through the various makes of the gun, talk about how many we know are out there, and uh, come up with a reasonable idea. And I suspect the right answer is out there somewhere, and given infinite time and resources to research it, we could find that answer. Uh, things like the gun's serial numbers might be an indicator for that. For example, uh, Battleship New Jersey has 16-inch gun barrels on board with serial numbers as high as 454. That number is way higher than any of the numbers I came up with, so that might be uh, not necessarily serialized for 16-inch guns, and it's definitely not serialized for just Mark 7 guns. Uh, it could be all Battleship caliber guns or something else, or they might not have started at one. It's, uh, I'm not quite sure how that numbering was done, so I don't have a, a, an answer to that. Um, however, we'll go through the various makes and models and uh, come up with what a number of gun bearers should be, and we should be in the right order of magnitude. And one day, probably in the near future, uh, somebody will point me in the right direction and I'll, I'll find some resource that that's specifically lists each gun by serial number or uh, lists each of the surviving guns and, and we'll be able to track this down a little bit better. So, what American ships are armed with 16-inch guns? You've got the four Colorado-class battleships. Three are completed. Uh, one, Washington, is not. Each one of those battleships has eight gun barrels. After the Colorados, you've got the South Dakota-class battleships and the Lexington-class battlecruisers. There are six of each. The South Dakotas would each have 12 barrels, the Lexingtons each eight. Then you don't have any for a while. You've got the two North Carolinas, each with nine 16-inch uh, gun barrels. Then the four South Dakotas, again, each with nine 16-inch gun barrels. Then you have six Iowa-class battleships with nine 16-inch gun barrels. And finally, you've got five Montana-class battleships with 12 16-inch barrels. Gun barrels take a really, really long time to manufacture. A while ago, we made a video uh, talking briefly about what it takes to slap these things together. And there's a link in the description to that below. And uh, there, there are probably even some better resources out there that, that talk about that in more depth. It takes a long time to make these. So gun barrels are one of the long lead items. Oftentimes, when a ship is authorized, and possibly even before the money is appropriated for the ship, the Navy will start making these guns. So, even though one of the Colorado-class battleships, six of the South Dakotas, and six of the Lexingtons were not built with 16-inch guns, there's still a high probability that many of those guns were made. So, if we count through just the number of barrels that the U.S. Navy planned to put at sea, we come up with the number of 320. However, we're missing some barrels in that count, and some of those barrels we counted almost certainly were not made, uh, because long lead items, though they may have been, if the Montanas were canceled so early in the process, many of their barrels probably weren't completed. So, let's go through the various makes and marks and uh, see what we come up with. The earliest 16-inch gun barrel I can think of is the M1895. This isn't even a Navy gun barrel. Uh, it was a U.S. Army gun barrel built for coastal defense. Uh, they made one of them, and it was uh, sent to Fort Grant in the uh, Panama Canal zone. Uh, it would have been in service from uh, the late 1800s to about 1943, when the U.S. realized that nobody's going to invade mainland U.S. or our, our possessions, and they start to scrap a lot of these coastal defense fortifications. Uh, next up, it seems like the Navy wanted to get in on this game. 
So they come up with a type gun, 45 cal, serial number one. Notice they don't specifically say 16 inch gun. They're hiding how big of a gun they're making because at this point, the largest guns uh, are the American 14 inch guns, the Japanese 14 inch guns, and the uh, British 13.5 inch guns. So nobody has made this jump to 16 inches. And as soon as one of these powers finds out that the others have jumped to 16 inches, then everybody's gonna do it. Um, and the British might've already jumped to 15 inches at this point uh, for that matter, which is probably why the US is looking at 16. So like you, you get this escalation going on. Uh, so the Navy is trying to hide just how big of a diameter of gun they're going to. So they don't give it a title. And th this is the prototype gun for the 16 inch uh, 45 Mark I, which will arm the Colorado class. This particular prototype gun is probably never assigned to a ship. Uh, it ends up being modified after its first proofing, it's proofed again. Uh, so the, the Mark I's that replace it are probably a little bit different. And it is then modified again uh, as a prototype for the 16 inch guns that will arm the North Carolina class. Uh, so again, that's further evidence that was never put on a ship. Uh, next up, of course, the, the Mark I that the Colorado class have. We can be pretty certain that there were 32 of these guns made eight each for the four battleships that were being built. There's also a chance that more were made so that you've got replacements when the barrels for the uh, completed ships are relined. That said, with Washington not being built, you've got eight replacement barrels right there. Uh, so it's unclear whether the eight from Washington are the replacement barrels, or if there were an additional number of replacement barrels beyond that. Um, typically, typically is a loose word, but uh, you often see about uh, an extra 33% made. If you're gonna make six barrels that you're gonna deploy, you actually make eight barrels so that you've got three active and one replacement. Uh, so it, it's unclear how many are made there, but probably a minimum of 32. Next up, we've got another Army gun. The Army actually made nine 16-inch guns. They, they had that uh, 1895 gun we talked about earlier, and they have an M1919 gun. The Army goes to Europe and they see uh, French, primarily, land artillery that, that is in this high caliber, and they decide to make some as well. And uh, the M1919 is a completely different type of gun than, than the comparable U.S. Navy guns. Uh, it uses a wire round uh, wound technique that is very common in European guns that they're taking inspiration from for this, but it's nowhere in the design evolution of uh, U.S. Navy guns, and it's a dead end. Um, the U.S. Navy doesn't look at it and make any modifications to theirs, and the Army doesn't continue this process. It's the first 50 caliber gun uh, that's made in the United States for the 16-inch uh, diameter. But uh, it sort of ends there. And even though there's some money for Endicott style fortifications, and hopefully we'll get to a fort one day and I'll be able to talk more about that, uh, only eight of these guns are made. Six are deployed, two to Boston, two to New York, and two to uh, Hawaii. And two more are kept in reserve, like I said, as replacement barrels. The Army may well have continued making guns like this or designing newer models. However, the US Navy then develops the Mark II and Mark III guns. These are 16 inch 50 caliber guns that they're going to install on the Lexington and South Dakota class uh, battleships and battle cruisers. Or they design ships that are gonna need 120 of these barrels. And assuming they have replacements, that would make for an even higher number, maybe as many as 160 based on the number I quoted earlier. However, they only make about 70 of these guns. Uh, the Mark III is a, a very slight modification, it's just a slight difference in how it's made. Uh, at least two of those are made. And uh, somewhere around 70 of these guns are given to the Army. So there's somewhere between 70, maybe 73 uh, of these guns total uh, between the Mark II and the Mark III. So like I said, South Dakota and uh, Lexington class ships are never built, so these guns are surplus. 
20 of them are initially given to the Army, so the Army stops production of the M1919. Um, they are actually kept by the Navy, about 50 of them, and some of them are used for testing, and some of them are going to be installed on the Iowa-class battleships, but there's a whole kerfuffle with the design, and they end up not using them. So after the Mark 7 is adopted for the Iowa class, the remaining 50 that the Navy has are just given to the Army. Uh, and this is right around uh, the beginning of World War II. And so the Army deploys um, about half of them in coastal defense. The other half never get deployed either because they're held in reserve or because uh, the need for coastal defense goes away at a certain point. Uh, next up, we've got the Mark IV. The Mark IV, only one of them ever exists. It's a test gun. It originally starts out as the 18-inch Mark I, and uh, the U.S. Navy decides that they're not going to go to 18 inches, and the Washington Naval Treaty gets rid of the 18-inch uh, design, so the Navy can't go to that. So they re-sleeve their 18-inch gun to be a 16-inch 56 caliber gun. And they uh, proof it at dog and it's still there. It actually gets re-sleeved again as an 18-inch gun later on. Um, and, and it's still in existence at Dahlgren. But it is uh, never put on a ship, never developed any further. We never designed a 16-inch gun higher than uh, 50 calibers. Although they do take a couple of 16-inch guns uh, that are surplus and weld them together for the harp tests. We'll talk about that in some future video. Uh, but that, that's where you get super high caliber 16 inch guns. Uh, next up, we've got the Mark V. You can see we're going sequential here. Uh, these were a 45 caliber gun designed for the Colorado class. Essentially, they took their old Mark I guns and they uh, made some modifications so they could take a higher pressure uh, to fire a slightly larger shell. And this is done in the 1930s when the, the U.S. is updating its battle line. Um, at the same time, some, some of these guns are also modified into Mark 8s, and Mark 8 is the final mark of a 16-inch gun. Uh, those, again, 45 caliber guns. No new barrels are built for the Mark V or the Mark 8. They specifically take uh, the Mark 1s on the existing Colorado-class battleships, or probably the eight that they have laying surplus, modify them, swap them out on the new ship, modify them, swap them out, so on and so forth, as these ships come into the yard. Uh, so now we come up to the actual World War II developed guns, the uh, Mark VI and Mark VII. The Mark VI is the 45 caliber gun that's made for the North Carolina and South Dakota class. And the Mark VII is the 50 caliber gun that's made for the Iowa and Montana class. And uh, quite simply, we don't know how many of these there, there are. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know how many there are. Those, those numbers almost certainly exist somewhere, but I've never come across them. Uh, if, if you've got a source that shows serial numbers or, or how many of these guns were manufactured, let us know in the comments section down below. Um, I am guessing that there are at least 54 of each. We know that the South Dakota and the North Carolina classes uh, deploy 54 guns total. There may be some extras made to reline them, we're not sure. Um, there are probably 54 guns made for the Iowa class also, because there are six Iowa class battleships that are laid down. Uh, two of those battleships are not completed, so there are spare guns to reline these ships, so they probably didn't make any extras past that point. Um, some of these may have been built for the Montana class as well. Some of the Montana class, or the Montana class battleships are all authorized, but they're all canceled before they're laid down. So I'm not entirely sure, and I'm not sure how many barrels are still out there um, that will give us a good idea of whether any additional ones were made. Uh, the, the Navy had several in various places around the country. Many of those have been taken by uh, museums and set up. So for example, some of the coastal batteries that used to have Mark II guns now have Mark VII guns that were spares from the Iowas. Um, there, there are some on display in Dahlgren, there are some on display in, in uh, other museums or parking lots or fields, such as the one we've got laying here. Uh, the Mahan Foundation has one on one of the trucks that would have moved them. That's a really cool display up in North Jersey. Um, 
but just how many of these displays are out there, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. So that gives us a minimum number of 16 inch barrels that were made of 227. And there could very easily be a little bit more than that. Uh, that number is almost certainly between that, that 227 number and the, the 320 number that was gonna be the total fielded uh, and doesn't include the test gun or the uh, nine that the army makes. So what's the weirdest place you've ever seen a 16 inch gun? Let us know in the comments section down below. I'm told there are a couple US Navy 16 inch guns uh, on the island of Barbados, but I haven't been there myself to check them out. Uh, but let us know in the comment section down below, weirdest place you've ever run into one. Uh, maybe the weirdest place I've ever run into one was in uh, Buffalo. At the museum there, they've got a chunk of 16 inch gun, um, probably from South Dakota, if I remember what Shane told me correctly. Uh, likewise, they had one in the uh, Nauticus building at Wisconsin. You don't expect to see one in a building. Uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And if you have any ideas on how many 16 inch guns are out there. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. Uh, your support gives us the free time to research the questions you ask us, and we really appreciate it. You can support us by clicking the donate button in the link below. You can also support us by liking and sharing so more people find out about our channel. Thanks for watching.